Maybe it's time from the movie A Star is Born, sung by Bradley Cooper and written by Jason Isbell, is going to be played in standard tuning. I'll show you three things in this video. I'll show you the chords, I will show you some of the embellishments that you can hear being done, and I'll also show you the finger picking pattern. Let me start with the finger picking pattern just because it's kind of maybe the most consistent part of what this song is doing. So the song is finger picked. Let's make a standard G chord real quick. Um, I've got my second finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, 1st finger on the 5th uh, string 2nd fret, and then my ring finger back on the 1st string 3rd fret, everything else open. So for this picking pattern, you're going to be finger picking 16th notes. 16th notes are counted 1, E, and a, uh, And it will sound like this. I'm just picking random strings right now, but this is the rhythm. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. What you'll notice is that your thumb is hitting the 1 and the and. 1 and 2 and. And you, then your first and second fingers, or what I use, will be hitting the E and the uh, as in 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So inside of the G chord, the way that you would make the rhythm would be to kind of randomly use your first and second fingers to hit strings, not randomly, like in time, uh, obviously, to hit strings three and strings two on the E and the A, uh, as in one E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, or really use your first finger to hit any of the other open strings and use your second finger to be hitting the open B string. And that's kind of the general feel that happens. So let's get to the chords. Now that you've got this one E and a finger picking pattern going down with your thumb always striking the lowest note that is moving the chord. The opening chord is going to be a G chord. And in this chord, in the intro, and really through most of the song, in a G chord, you hear the B string, open B string, being emphasized a lot. To play this opening G chord, I put my ring finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, I put my pinky finger on the 1st string 3rd fret, and then I've got the 5th string just blocked out, and then I've got an open 4 and 3. So you can hear how I'm emphasizing the open 2nd string with my, I'm using my 2nd finger. On the up, uh, 1 E and up uh, 2 E and up uh, 3 E and up uh, 4 E and up uh, 1 E. Um, in this intro, you'll also hear the guitar go, do this. The way that you achieve that little is to hammer on with your second finger to the what was open fourth string to the fourth string second fret. hammering on and still leaving your hammering on with your second finger to the fourth string second fret you're still leaving the second string open so that's the intro and then it begins to the chorus which is going to be a G it'll drone on this G and then it'll walk up to a C the way that you walk up to this C is out of the G you will hammer on to the 5th string 2nd fret with I use my 2nd finger and then fall into a standard C chord. Put your 3rd finger, your ring finger on the 5th string 3rd fret, 2nd finger goes on the 4th string 2nd fret, you'll have an open 3rd string, you'll have your 1st finger on the 2nd string 1st fret and you'll have an open 1st string. Now in this chord, it's kind of the 1st string that will get emphasized the way that the B string was being emphasized, as in... Or, there you're alternating uh, your E's and your U's of one E and a between the fretted second string and the open first string. One, one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a. So something like that. And then it goes back to the G and then goes back to the C again. And then it walks down from the G to 
um, or really whenever it goes to the walk down from the G, you're going to put um, something on the second string, third fret. I'm using my pinky here inside of the G, so the second string is no longer opened. I'm fretting the second string on the third fret, and you'll walk down to an E minor. The way that you walk down is you move from the sixth string third fret to the sixth string second fret, and then sixth string open for an E minor. The way that I'm making the E minor is I use either my second finger or my first finger to put something on the fifth string uh, second fret. You can do the same picking pattern across now this. So I've got an open sixth string. I've got something fretting the fifth string, second fret. You can have an open fourth string, an open third string. Your second string is still fretted by, I'm using my pinky on the second string, third fret. And then you could have an open first string. And then you'll go, after the E minor, you'll go to a D, a standard D chord. a C chord and in this inside of this C chord after the D at the end of the uh, chorus you can hear the guitarist go like you hear a little trill there the way that you do that is you will lift up so in inside of a standard C chord you've usually got your first finger on the second string first fret you will lift up your first finger to expose the open second string and then immediately hammer down your first finger to the second string first fret and then pull it off again. So you get. And really I'm striking it with my thumb. You'd be striking it with your first or your second finger because your thumb would be down here hitting the one and ands of the count on the C note. And your first and second fingers would be filling in the E's and uhs. And at some point you would I'm striking with my second finger the second string, the second string of the guitar. You would open up the second string, strike it with whichever finger you're striking that string with, and then quickly do that little hammer on and pull off with your first finger. And then go back down in the G. So that is the chorus. That's what the song starts on is the chorus. Then whenever it goes to the verse, Instead of starting on the G, the round starts on the C. So the verse of the song is going to be a C to a G, back to the C, to the G. And sometimes in these Gs, you can hear the guitar uh, not only playing the open second string for the emphasis, but sometimes it'll go to a more traditional uh, G with your ring finger on the second string third fret and your pinky finger on the first string third fret and you can hear those notes getting played. So it's not the exact same G that's being played all the time. Sometimes it's this style of G. Then it goes back to the C and then it walks down just like in the chorus it walks down from a G to a F sharp to a E minor. And then it goes to a D again. This time it holds on the D for a longer count. It holds for like two counts. And so D, and then to the C. And then back down into the G chord. So in the D of the chorus, you can hear this embellishment that happens at one time that goes like that. The way that you do that is you will, you will pluck thumb on the open third or the open fourth string you'll pluck the fretted second string third fret that you've got your ring finger on and then you'll pluck the first string on the second fret where you've got your second finger and then you'll put your pinky finger down on the first string third fret so you've got and then you'd pull off with your pinky finger to expose your where your second finger still has uh, the first string second fret fretted. And then you would open up the first string and let it ring open. And then you would strike the still fretted second string third fret. And then you'd go into the C chord.
And then that whole process repeats again. And those are the chords to Maybe It's Time with Bradley Cooper, written by Jason Isbell.